Okay, so here we have the eye test set up. It hasn't got an instrument at the moment. Connected through to the software. And then alternately, and then each time we need to set up, don't we, the instrument to be able to be compatible with the eye test, don't we, Virginia? So that's the introduction. You go ahead and tell us. Let's have a look. We go oh. to load from ITIS using ITIS Manage software. So once you click that, it will load all the data from the ITIS and put it here in the software. So it finds the ITIS automatically. Yes. And then you want to, these are just the basic configuration of the dates and setups and how the banners want to be looked. They can just put their uh, company logo here oh, and nice. those those things and here is the place you activate what kind of home test you want to do it will allow you speedy only speedy bump test is here so they can just do calibration when the bump test is failed or calibration when the calibration due date is expired so we'll just leave it to speedy action if you want you can configure a pin number for that and then inlet configuration so Quad is four gas and Quinn is five gas. So we use quad and then use CH4. And the accurate value of CH4 is 2.5 percent volume. Where is it? There. Me. And then update value. So we'll put the accurate value there, which is 56.8 LEL. And then CO is 100 ppm. And then H2 is 25. And then oxygen is 18. And then once it's all updated, you can just go for field configuration. It's something if they want put the alarm value by itself so every time they do bump test if the alarm levels has been changed on the detector it will load the correct alarm settings to the gas detector we're not going to do that so save configuration save to i test save selected i test oh um, too many no nah, it's the dates here Want to configure the date? It's June twenty twenty. So it's the date of the, the bottle. bottle. Yeah, which can't be in the past, obviously. Twenty twenty, June thirtieth, and the lot number of the gas bottle. Which is two one six three two five. Cylinder number. BC one eight five four one eight. That gives you your record for your reports, obviously. Yeah. Then the and then save configuration. System busy. Please wait. waiting for that to update to here fifty percent okay so that uploaded okay VJ yep everything has been done tell you on the um, test yep. or no no not there here save configuration to ITIS so please ensure that cylinder installed matches those to find the inlet so it's done and then back close What's that this, is? this is still give you it's still the same price okay so here we are back again so now just to confirm vj you have configured this instrument here to be able to work with an eye test which needs to be done in our factory prior to delivered did you show them how to enable yep so now it's just plugging. 
So this is what happens on a daily basis, right? When you're bump testing. Yeah, so you can see the amber light, which means the bump test is in progress. So it's already going, there we are. Yeah. So you need a demand flow valve on your on your bottle because this has got its own internal pump regardless of whether you're using a pumped gas detector or not. What is it about two minutes is it? Oh, less than Maybe. a minute. Mm, less than a minute. And it will tell you once the amber will change to green or red. If it's green it will pass, if it's red it fails. Sure it will pass. One more height there, there's a green. Yeah, and you can see the tick mark here. Okay, and there's your instrument, because it's just received some bad gas. Fast. You know why it's easy to pass? Because it's a speedy bomb test. The speedy bomb test, the once it reaches, the, once one. it activates the first alarm, yes. pass. But for smart, it has to be within the threshold. Well, so if you have a tolerance of plus and minus five, I'll show you on the other one. Then. It's it's more likely to fail if you have a yeah. smaller. Yeah. If you change the bottle, um, you need to actually tell it what the bottle has been changed to. Yeah, in the software. That's the disadvantage of this one, Ben. If they're using the the Intec one or the Industrial Scientific Journal. Yeah. Okay, so now we there is the T4 unit, here is the gas pro unit, and what you're explaining now, VJ, is to configure the cylinder details through the buttons of the okay. ITES. Oh, rather than using the, the, the ITES manager software. Yep. So, so if you change the bottle, you need to change the information in the ITES so that it knows the correct data for that bottle. So, to do that, you go on this number menu once you click that it will ask you a password the default password is zero 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 six zeros and then okay go here and you go to the settings symbol with a bottle and then okay and it will give you gas bottle number one you go in by pressing okay and then here the first menu with a question mark you want to choose whether it's a quad or quen Quad is a four gas and quen is a five gas. So if it's a gas pro, you have four or five. So it depends here we choose quad. And then here you choose the choose and configure the level of gas. So here it's fifty-six point eight. You can put it to fifty-seven. Seven, okay, and CO one hundred, okay. H two S is it's be twenty five, and oxygen needs to be eighteen, and then to go back you press the left hand arrow, and then you go to lot number. That's where you configure the lot number of the cylinder. You can find those in the cylinder gas bottle, and then the next one is the date. The expiry date of the cylinder here it's 2020 august 20th 20th of august 2020 so once you've done that you can go back go back and go to the home it's all been configured and now it's all ready to go for a guest bro with that specific calibration bottle are we correct yeah thank you vijay